All right, so there's a cool new study that just came out which shows that eating a cookie lowers the LDL cholesterol, which is the bad cholesterol, by 71%, and that is absolutely insane. So we are going to look at this study and see how they carry out this experiment. Now, first of all, this study is based on what is known as Lehman's hyperresponder phenotype, which is basically a term used to describe specific dyslipidemia trad that occurs in individuals who are following a ketogenic diet. So this trial would include a significant rise in their LDL cholesterol, which is the bad cholesterol, of greater than or equal to 200 mg per deciliter, increased HDL cholesterol, greater than or equal to 80 mg per deciliter, and decreased triacylglycerol or triglyceride, less than or equal to 70 mg per deciliter. So among these individuals who are following a ketogenic diet are termed lean mass hyperresponder phenotype, which was derived from the empirical observation that this trad occurs in lean metabolically healthy individuals who are following a ketogenic diet. And of course, any individual on a ketogenic diet will actually have a rise in their LDL cholesterol due to the high content of saturated fatty acids in their diet, okay? And then one basic explanation as to why this happened is the lipid energy model, all right? So just to give you a kind of background, what happens when you consume foods that are high in carbohydrates is that excess of this carbohydrate in the form of glucose are going to store in your liver as glycogen to power your body when your blood sugar level drops, like during the fasting state. Now, when your glycogen stores become depleted, what's going to happen is there is going to be a shift in metabolism. Your body is going to enter the state of ketosis. So basically, during carbohydrate-restricted diet that is sufficient enough to deplete your glycogen stores, lipid energy models suggest that under this condition, increased circulating free fatty acids are then resistenced into triacylglycerol or triglyceride, now, these triglycerides are going to get packaged into the very low-density lipoprotein and exported from the liver. This very low-density lipoprotein then undergo lipoprotein lipase catabolism, leading to the increased production of large numbers of low-density lipoprotein, consequently increasing your LDL cholesterol. Now, this mechanism was actually proposed to meet the body's energy demand in the absence of sufficient glucose, all right? Now, back to the intriguing part of the study, the Oreo cooking experiment, the researcher actually conducted a crossover study on individual with lean mass hyperresponder phenotype who is following a ketogenic diet. Now, the hypothesis was that adding carbohydrate in the form of Oreo cookie would lower the LDL cholesterol with similar or greater magnitude than high intensity starting therapy. Now, statin is actually a medication usually prescribed for people to help them lower their cholesterol, their LDL cholesterol. That's because this medication actually works by blocking the enzyme hmg coa reductase, which is the key enzyme in cholesterol synthesis pathway. All right. So to compare Oreo cooking experiments to high intensity start time. Now, this study included a two week running period on a standardized ketogenic diet followed by two study arms. Now, in the first study arm, the subject was supplemented with 12 Oreo cookies daily for 16 days, providing additional 100 grams of carbohydrate daily. All right. Now, their ketosis was monitored and measured similar to the standard ketogenic diet. Now, following the discontinuation of Oreo cookie, there was a washout period of three months where this individual started following ketogenic diet again. So this individual in the second study arm um, received 20 milligrams of statin therapy daily for six weeks, and the result was quite surprising. Supplementation of Oreo cookie lowers the LDL cholesterol by 71% from a baseline of 384 to 111 milligrams per deciliter. Now, this result was more pronounced than 32.5% observed in individual after supplementation of statin therapy. All right. So, Oreo cookie was able to lower the LDL cholesterol more than high intensity statin therapy. Now, it is important to note that this study is not to be taken as medical health advice, and then the supplementation of Oreo cookie 
should not be taken as a beneficial health intervention for lowering the LDL cholesterol. So this experiment is a, is a kind of do not do it at home sort of experiment, but rather metabolic demonstration to provoke further research in this area. Thanks for watching.